Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install AZ Copy which is a command line tool on a Windows machine. I will also show you how to list the files in a blob container, upload or download files to and from a blob container. Finally, we'll see how to sync changes between blob containers of different storage accounts and also with a local folder on a Windows machine. So what are the topics covered? First I will show you how to install AZ Copy on a Windows machine which is a command line application. Using AZ Copy we can list the files in a blob container in a storage account. I will also show you how to upload and download files to and from a blob container using AZ Copy. Using AZ Copy you can also sync changes from a blob container of one storage account to a blob container in another storage account and also you can sync changes between blob container and a local folder. To ensure that the synced folders are up to date, you can add delete destination parameter while using the az copy command which I'll show you a little later. So for the first demo, I will show you how to install AZ Copy, which is a command line tool which can be used to transfer blobs or objects to and from storage accounts. I will also show you how to list all files in a blob container using AZ Copy. So I have logged into a Windows virtual machine and I will open up Internet Explorer. I will paste the URL which is used to download the AZ Copy command line tool. And I'm going to click Save As. And I'm going to save this in C Drive Storage Lab. Okay, I will click Save. I'm going to open up the folder once it has been downloaded. And you can see the zip file. So I'm going to right click on this and click on Extract All. And I'll click Extract to extract the zip file into the same location. Okay, you can see the zip file has been extracted. And you can see the AZ copy which is the command line tool. Alright, I'm going to delete this zip file which is no longer needed. And the version of the AZ copy is version 10.9.0 just so you know. Now I will open up Storage Explorer which I have already installed on this VM. And I've already logged into my Azure subscription and I can see my storage account wired storage 57336. I've expanded my storage account and I'm going to expand the blob containers. I will right click on the images containers and I'll click on get shared access signature. I will leave all the default options set as they are and I will click on create. And next to the URI field, I will click the copy button to copy the URI. So I will use this URI later and I will click on close. Now I will open up command prompt on my Windows machine and I will navigate to C drive storage lab az copy folder and I'll type the command az copy list and I will open up the double quotes and then I'm going to paste the URI which I copied from the clipboard and then I'm going to close the double quotes and I'll press enter and you can see all the files which are listed in my images container. So if I verify this, I have four files, one, two, three, four, and I can see the same files using the az copy list command. So this is a quick way to identify that you have installed az copy correctly and are using the proper permissions to connect to and read blob containers with it. In the second demo, I will show you how to upload files to a blob container and download files from a blob container using AZ Copy. So in the Storage Explorer, you had to manually select the blobs and upload them one at a time. But using AZ Copy, you can upload many at a time. First, you need a shared access signature token that gives uh, permission to upload to a blob container. So back in Storage Explorer, I will right click on internal files blob container which is one of the blob container under my storage account wired storage and I will click on get shared access signature from the pop-up menu. I will check the right option for the permissions and then I'll click on create. 
Now in this window, I will click on the copy button next to the URI text box and I'll click close. Now I'll go back to the command prompt and I'm still in the same location where I have extracted my AZ copy command line application. Now I'll type the command AZ copy, copy. I'll open up the double quotes and I'll type the location C drive storage lab 5 AZ copy and I will select in 123today.txt file and I'll close the double quotes and I will open the double quotes again and I'll paste the URI which I copied earlier and I'll close the double quotes. So this command will upload the file in hyphen 123-today.txt which is in the folder C storage lab 5 AZ copy to the internal files blob container. Okay, so you can see the number of transfers completed one because I just transferred one file from a local folder to my blobs container of my storage account. So if I go back to storage explorer and if I refresh, I see the file which has been transferred from my local folder which is in 123today.txt. Now to upload several files at a time by using the wildcard, I will type the following command. AZ copy, copy, I'll open up the double quotes, C drive, storage, lab, 5, AZ copy. I'll type an asterisk and I'll close the double quotes. I'll open up the double quotes again and I'll paste the URI which I copied earlier and I'll close the double quotes. And this time, I'm going to specify an additional parameter, minus, minus, include, hyphen, pattern. Open up the double quotes, in, star, dot, txt, semicolon, and double quotes again. I need to leave a space. All right. Okay. Now, this command will copy all the files that has .txt file type from the folder C storage lab 5 az copy to the blob container internal files. So you can see I have transferred three files successfully. So if I go back to storage explorer and hit refresh. So now I see three text files in 123today.txt which is the same file which we had copied earlier but it got replaced again and additional two files in 456tomorrow.txt in 789yesterday.txt. Now to download files from a blob container to a folder on local machine, so I'm going to sync a local folder which is in C drive storage lab 6 sync and you can see this folder is empty right now. I'm going to sync this folder with internal files blob container in my storage account. So I'm going to sync this one right here, which has four files, right? I will enter the following command az copy, copy, double quotes, and the same URI which I copied earlier, and double quotes again. And I'll specify a local folder. So this time I will specify the local folder C users storage lab downloads folder and I will make this as recursive and I'll press enter. Now this command will copy all of the contents from the internal files blob container to the directory C storage lab 6 sync and if I go to that folder I can see all those four files have been copied and in the command output I can see number of copy transfers completed is four. So if I run the exact same command a second time, I can see the output of the command and it says no files have been transferred because everything is already in sync. If I want to ensure that the files are deleted from both the location when I delete a file from either the blob container or from the local folder, I need to add the parameter minus minus delete minus destination true. So if I delete this file business-plan.pdf from the source, 
I'll hit delete. I'll click yes. I'll, all right, it's gone. I will go back to command prompt. Now this time I'm using an additional parameter minus minus delete hyphen destination true. And if I press enter, okay, you can see number of deletions at destination is one. So if I open my destination folder, now you can see that file does not exist any longer. So this is it. This is how you sync changes with AZ copy automatically. All right, so this is how you install AZ copy and use it to list files or upload files, download files from a blob container. And you can also use it to sync changes between the blob containers or with the local folder. I hope you like this video. For more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.